Located at the heart of Singapore city centre, the Sultan Mosque has been a symbol of the nation's multiracial and multi-religious past since the 19th century. First built in 1824, the mosque served as a worship space for Muslims in the area. An Irish architect was later commissioned to redesign the mosque to accommodate the growing Muslim community in the area. The iconic design combined traditional Indian, Islamic and European elements and was completed in 1928. They make this place as a meeting place. Ah, ah. In fact, later on they built another mosque near after Haji Lane, no? just to accommodate. So basically the Indian and the Arab would, would congregate over there. Ah, ah, the rest over here. You look at the, the design of the shop houses here. If from the mosque you look back, ah, the right side ah, is higher than the left side. I live on the left side. So my house, my grandma house, always flooded if a stormy winter night. The water can go right up to here because over, over the beach road, huh, there are swampy area, mangrove and all that. So when high tide, huh, the water can go right up to this part, to the front of the mosque. So the old mosque can be submerged by water, flooded. Huh, when uh, we were young, huh? we, 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 we swim in front of the mosque, the old mosque, uh, okay, because the water is very high. So that's why the design, the first floor is a bit high. Huh? Most of the Muslim people, uh, as I said just now, many came from other uh, neighbouring countries. So they cannot afford uh, to give a lot of things. Uh, unlike some other people, uh, they uh, establish a uh, group of people, they give thousands of dollars and all that. So, what they want is something these people can afford to contribute. And the only, because here have got soya, soya sauce factory over here. You know? So, they know they have bottles, a lot of bottles. So, what they did, they broke the, bot the bottle, the bottle, and they paste and make the skirt of the dome. Uh, so we said symbolize contribution from the local people. When we say we need to change the light uh, because it was a uh, really drab, uh, this country will come and don't want to donate, that country won't come to donate. So they decide to give us a uh, very beautiful one. Uh. Every day we have a volunteer who come and share what Islam is with the people of the world. If they ask, and then we give them a short lecture, if tell what it means and all that. After going through restoration works in 2015, the Sultan Mosque received the Urban Redevelopment Authority's Architectural Heritage Award. It became like some sort of national icon because of its size and due to the size uh, okay, of this design of this, it becomes sort of like a monument uh, at that time to symbolize the Islamic belief. Uh. Tourists, when they open up Singapore, went to a place of visit, uh, interest in Singapore, you see Sultan Mosque. Since we already got that uh, recognition as a, a place, a visiting place in Singapore, all right, so we just want to share what Islam is with the people of the world. The mosque remains as an integral part of Kampong Glam's cultural landscape. As one of the key landmarks in Singapore, the Sultan Mosque still stands proud and tall as an icon of the rich Malay culture in Singapore.